right, next up, I have my friend, Catherine Walters, who I just looked it up. Catherine, we have spent 13 months together yes. in coaching. Yes. And every time Catherine is on the screen talking, even if someone else is talking, I love to watch your face. You're one of those ghost <laughs> people that I watch because you are like, you're pulling yeah. for people. I can just see it on your face. And when you share... It, it's so powerful that I wanted you to come on this video and share today. So looking at you now, it's hard to imagine that you ever had a reason to even consider a carnivore diet, but oh God. <laughs> what brought you here? Well, actually, um, if to do a really quick backstory, um, weight is number one. It is not my number one, what brought me to carnivore, but weight has always been an issue. So I'm a chronic under eater at times a binger, but under eater and overweight, just doomed to be overweight my whole life is what I thought. Um, today I'm 56. So um, <clears throat> what brought me was in 2021, I finally became so fed up with chronic constipation and regurgitation of food. So on a daily basis, I did not feel well. Um, and I was severely overweight, but I only ate 1200 or less calories a day. Um, and I didn't feel good. I felt awful. And I went to my regular practitioner and I talked to her, you know, what was going on. I'm regurgitating all my food. I can't keep my food down. Obviously I'm very overweight. Um, I don't feel well <clears throat> on a daily basis and it just kept getting worse. So I kept eating less. I had been constipated for years and I used, um, laxatives to go to the bathroom once a week and that was it. That's, that was my life. And I had mentioned this to her and said, so where do I go from here? What do I do? And she said, well, the constipation, some people are just like that. Just keep taking those laxatives. Some people just have to. And I was so taken back. And then she went on with the appointment. But in all honesty, the whole time, I think I shut her down at that point. And I, I just could not believe what she had said here. I'm coming for help. And you're telling me to take something to make me go to the bathroom. That's not normal. And what's happening to me is not normal. So I went home. I had done keto for a few years with all my diets up and down over the years. I've done a lot of diets, um, a lot of restricting, had a couple of years of anorexia. You know, I had tried it all. Everything would work and I would lose weight. Never got under um, 175. I'm just under five foot nine now. So <clears throat> never got under 175 trying anything and never successfully kept it off. So in 2021, in September, I was up to 230 pounds, um, regurgitating my food, eating 1200 or less calories a day. And within the keto world, I had heard little glimpses, as you know, of carnivore. And what I kept, I never heard about healing from keto except for epilepsy. I only heard it's a diet, a weight loss diet. And that's why I did it. Um, but when it came to carnivore, I kept hearing healing, healing, healing all the time. And from just miraculous different things, uh, mental, you know, all kinds of things, indigestion. Well, that evening when I went home, I told my husband, um, I'm so tired of medical doctors. So I told him, I heard about carnivore, you know, this last year, I'm going to do it. And he was like, it's carnivore. My husband's never dieted a day in his life. He's like, what's carnivore? And I said, I'm just going to eat meat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to eat animal products. And at first I thought it was just meat. And then I read quickly about it that evening. Cause I was going to do it the next day, which I did on September 24th, um, 2021. And I have not eaten any carbs since unless there was a minimal amount in an egg or a minimal amount in heavy cream so I just gave it up that's how ill I felt I felt so awful and <clears throat> I said I was just going to do it for 30 days that's what I was going to do I was going to see if it would help my gut clean up my gut I'm going to do this 30 days I can do it I've done tons of diets for 30 days not a problem doing it so this is what I did and although um the regurgitation and appetite wasn't really clearing up very quickly. Immediately, I started noticing that my skin looked better. My hair was a little shinier. I felt better, even though I was still regurgitating my food and I didn't quite have a good appetite yet. But then I noticed I hadn't taken any laxatives and I went to the bathroom. <laughs> so I had been to the bathroom a few times. I haven't taken a laxative since either. Oh my gosh. I have not. Amazing. That's awesome. And then I had heard Danny Conway 
in there as well. And I was struggling so bad. And as time's going on now, I'm probably, I'm over 30 days at this point and I just kept doing it. And I hired her. She's always had this motto that she kept talking about was test, don't guess. So I started working with her. I did the recommended testing that she offered, some blood tests, some urine tests and stuff. And she checked different things on me and she found quite a few things that were wrong with my belly. Uh, leaky gut, um, H. pylori in there. I had uh, way overgrowth of candida in my belly. Um, just so many things. I had SIBO, <laughs> just so much gut sickness. Um, so I worked with her. And one of the things that aided me, so in my carnivore journey, um, I don't know if it would have worked without it, but I didn't do it for a long carnivore a long time without um, I used supplements that she gave me and I found those helpful for me and they did help heal. It was a protocol we did phase one, phase two, phase three, and there were just herbal supplements, no um, artificial medications or anything like that. And we worked through these and they did heal the different things between that and this clean carnivore diet. And at the time I did not partake in dairy. So I did for the first 30 days. <clears throat> and then after that, we took dairy out. There was no dairy in the diet. So it was just meat and eggs and butter. And I did notice in the beginning, I ate a lot of butter. Like my hormones were so maybe out of balance that maybe the butter was helping with that. Yes. So I ate a lot of butter. And in the beginning, I never ate meat fat before. So I had to learn how to eat the fat on the meat, you know, how to tolerate it, not digestion wise, but the chewing and the, the, the feel of it and whatnot. And the fear, we're all taught you don't eat the fat. Hello, fat free. That's the only way to be, just fat free. So I learned as I learned to eat more fat, now the butter is almost off the plate. It's a rarity I'm adding that kind of fat, unless I'm cooking eggs in butter. And within that journey, I did heal. I got clearer skin. Regurgitation stopped probably before about day 60, let's say, in there in that second month. That that backed off. And then I did do something also that was really helpful for me. Um, I learned something about reverse dieting. So I struggled to be overweight at 230 pounds. Today, I weigh in on average 140. So I've lost 90 pounds doing that. And I lost the 90 pounds in the first year. Um, but what I had to do to do that was reverse diet, I had to learn to eat. So gradually over the it probably took four to six months. I kept increasing calories as my stomach would allow me to yes. get, you know, more hunger than I would eat more. So I eat more. And today I sit, I'm, I think it's a rarity. I ever eat under 2000 calories a day, but I probably eat between two and 3000 calories a day. And it's probably 70 to 85% fat a day. It just depends on the day. Some days are more lean, some days are heavier, but it's usually never under 70 grams, or not 70 grams, 70% 70 of my calories yes. from fat a day. Can anyway, you even believe this is your life that you get to I eat? Cannot, I cannot. I cannot. I never graze. All I do is typically I'm settled with two meals. That's naturally kind of how it fell. At first, it was like, training myself to eat five times a day, a little bit. So okay. my stomach could tolerate food. But once that was healed over, it is twice a day on a rare occasion. It's only once a day. Do you tend to so, eat when you do too mad most days, breakfast, lunch, lunch, dinner? Um, I'll call it lunch, dinner, lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm an early to rise and early to bed woman. So I get up at 3 a.m. my time. Oh, wow. And I usually go to bed before eight. So okay. <laughs> Yeah, you I work from 3 a.m. You just stay busy till you get hungry at around. I get ready for work and I go to work. I work full time out of the house. So I go to work and I usually don't. I have coffee in the morning, just black coffee. And okay. then I usually don't get hungry till maybe 11. OK, yeah. And so around usually, 11, what does a typical lunch look like for you? Yesterday, it was six slices of thick cut bacon and about four ounces of chicken. <laughs> Um, and then for dinner, I had three meat patties and I think I had a fourth meat patty a little bit like, okay, after. Nice. <laughs> so it just, yeah, but that's a yeah. pretty today again, day. I had chicken coffee. Mm -hmm. I had heavy cream in my coffee today at work. When I was at work, my second cup of coffee, I had heavy cream in it. And then after work, I ate a pound of ground beef patties Yeah, Beautiful. with a little bit of butter on them when I, because I was reheating them, so I put a little butter on them. Okay, so when you want butter, yeah, you so it. that's it. 
And if you don't want butter, you don't add it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll eat a, a bite of cold beef tallow out of the refrigerator. It's my diet's really plain. I eat steak. I, I eat all kinds of beef, ground beef, beef patties, short ribs, whatever, all kinds of beef, a little bit of chicken, not a whole lot, but I do eat fish. Usually once, sometimes twice a week, like shrimp and salmon. And yeah. I'm on quite a seafood kick right now. My son. Mm -hmm. I really am. I think it's, I think it's great for us. I love seafood. All right. So your key elements were cutting out carbs, eating all of the meat, mm -hmm. too bad is typical, get gut healing. I love Danny Conway so much. I will link to anybody who wants to get with her. I know that she is booked out. I last I heard to August, but I hear really? that she is worth every penny and that she is worth the wait. She you know? is. Yes, she definitely is. And then once you get in her, um, in her door, <laughs> once you get in there, you can pretty much get it scheduled whenever she needs to. So if it's once a month or whatever. So I scheduled like pre-scheduled once a month to do my phases I needed to go through. Oh, that's good. And I've been off supplements now since January. Oh, no kidding. So it was a long haul. Yeah. And I'm not a medicine girl to begin with. I, I pushed my whole life. Even my kids hardly ever took medicine as when they were small yeah I don't like I don't like western medicine very much <laughs> yeah, me neither is there anything else that has been helpful to you along the way or that you feel like you would like to share with people because your story is incredible I'm just so excited for people to get to meet you and see your photos and to just enjoy your you're just always calm and delightful I think that um, one of the biggest things that really, really can help a carnivore journey, especially my own, was to be involved in community. So um, finding groups to be in where I got a lot of information. It's really, I mean, we think because we're in the carnivore community all the time in social media or in groups or whatever, we think, oh, I mean, everyone knows about carnivore. Nobody knows about carnivore. Nobody knows about carnivore. So to be in this community was probably the most helpful thing that I've done for myself. I stay in community and even when I'm not, I'm watching replays of things. I'm YouTubing all the time. I'm always looking for new information. It's such a, um, a diet that mainstream doesn't really want to talk about or follow because it doesn't follow any of the Western medicine studies anywhere. I mean, it goes against them all the way. Um, but yet at the same time, it seems to be the most healing, but they don't want to hear it. So getting in community, following YouTube videos, social medias of whatever, you know, platform that you use, get in there, get the information, read the books. I mean, if I screenshot it right over here, I must have six carnivore books sitting next to me. Oh. I read all the books. I take in everyone's information. Everyone has different studies because there's no mainstream studies, right? You know, no one's, no one's backing these studies. So it's different doctors that believe in carnivore that are doing the studies and writing the books and so you got to get them you got to read them you got to study them and take what you want from it you know yeah. believe what you want out of it but you can believe that it's true because I've been in so many communities now um there is healing across the board there is healing it's so whatever your ailment you should try carnivore <laughs> just to see if it'll work you never know until you try it and you have nothing to lose if you're ill except the illness yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, out of your books over there, if you had to pick one to recommend, I'll link it below. Which one do you want to suggest? Oh, let me see. There's no wrong uh, answer. No, nope, there's not, but this is my fave right here. I've got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent yeah. book. It's like a little medicine book all the time. When I want to know something, I'll thumb back through it and look for the answers. I even have this one. It's, he's not really carnivore. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Um, but I'm not a faster. Maybe. I've done fasting. I've done fasting, but I'm a hungry girl now. <laughs> I want to eat. I did enough fasting and anorexia when I was young. I don't like to fast. I here, don't. Here. I just want to. I just want to eat food and be healthy. Anyway, Kelly, you're such a pleasure. I love being in your group. I Thank just love you. it. Brings joy to my week. Uh, our group is better with you in it, and I'm so. Oh, happy. you're sweet, Catherine. <laughs> you're going to inspire people today. This is this is good. People need. I'm help. excited. I'm excited too. You know, if you didn't, and you worked full time too, if you didn't put yourself out there and share your journey, um, half of us wouldn't have found carnivore or we wouldn't be successful like we are in carnivore. 
because of the information. Even if it's not your own personal information, you're out there getting the information and sharing it. And it's so important. So important. I think you gave up a career for this wonderful career you have now. And it was a good for your next chapter. <laughs> Thank you. I, it is. I enjoyed my last career, but man, I got to tell you, this is, I get chills almost every single time I log on to one of these meetings and get to just hear people's stories and look at them like I'm looking at you right now. And I can't even believe that you are the same person. When I see your <laughs> photos, it's amazing. And I know what it feels like. It's kind of weird when somebody says that, because I, to me, when I look at my photos from before, I'm like, uh -huh. clearly that's me, but I don't yeah. feel like the same person either. I don't either. Oh. I don't. I probably feel the best I feel now than I have in years and years. So good. And the other thing is I couldn't get off the floor. One day I got on the floor and I realized I could not get up unless I used my hands on my own legs to try and help me up. But I had to get on my knees somehow first or crawl to the couch to get up. Yes. And mind you, I said, I'm 56. I realized this when I was about 54. I'm like, why can't I get off the floor unassisted? Right. So I can get off the floor under, unassisted. I exercise. I can walk. I can jog. I mean, it is a beautiful thing. It is. It's amazing when all the inflammation, I have hip arthritis. I have neck surgery. I have a plate in my neck from issues there and um, all that inflammation being gone. How free you feel so free, like you right now doing all your box jumping. I'm so inspired. I'm like, I can't do that. Maybe next year I'll be able to. So every day I just try and jump on the floor to see if I can get my legs up. Yeah, that's cool. See, you're still inspiring people. Oh, that's, like, <laughs> that's awesome. Catherine, thank you. It. All right. Thank you so much, Kelly. I'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>